So this is big, big open country. And the elk are herded up in big herds. That means there's a lot of eyeballs and there's not a lot of cover. With this flintlock, I need to be within 100, maybe 150 yards to be really confident in a good hit on one of these elk. But in order to do that, we first have to find them. We are going for a very long walk. It's about a mile and three quarter to the end of this ridge. Uh, and then on the other side of this ridge, there's a big bowl over there that looks like they might be feeding in. Um, we'll just have to see. I haven't seen any elk sign out here yet, <clears throat> but hopefully once we get up into there, uh, we'll get into some. But got to go to see. So got a long walk through deep snow. About 30 head of elk on a ridge. But over that, about, about, they're about five miles from us. I can't even talk. <laughs> Looks like there's maybe two dozen out there. So I'm not gonna be able to get to those today. I'm just gonna I think I'll hang out up here, walk up this ridge, and just look down in. Looking on the opposite face here, I can see some trails over there, but I can't tell what they are. If they're elk or deer or what. Hopefully there's some elk in here. So we just eased our way up this ridge to look into this bowl because I thought there might be some elk tucked away back in here. It's not something that's easily accessible. They really like those areas that's hard to get to and snuck our way up here and there's nothing. Nada. I can see a few tracks come across the hill over there but I guess we'll just keep creeping work our way up to that knob, look over the other side, just keep doing that and eventually just kind of make a loop back to the truck if we don't see anything. There's been some elk up here, there's some old sign, but I don't see any tracks like they've been here recently. Just gotta keep working until you find them.
pemmican. See that little speck down there? Freaking three miles from here. So there's a far ridge out here and there is a pile of elk on there probably um, there's probably 50 elk up there so we got two bunches of elk now that we know where they're at <clears throat> and neither one of them is easy to get to but this one if we can if we can get up this bottom a little ways this shallow ridge we ought to be able to hike that up to the top I would guess and then around it's a long way I think we might have game plan for in the morning to get on these elk over here that we saw this morning it's not gonna be easy to get on them um, we're talking about a probably a three mile hike through snow um, and those are the easy ones and then we have these other ones over here on this ridge there's probably 50 head over there so but at least we're seeing elk but all this could change if we see something in the morning that's maybe a little easier to get to never know unless you go that herd of elk that we found yesterday yesterday they were right up on this very top end of this slope and today they're a little bit lower on the slope down this way we've got a little bit of topography between us we're going to try to keep it that way and just work underneath them to the other side of that ridge work our way up the ridge try to get on top of them winds kind of blowing this way so I think if we can keep some topography so they can't see us I think we'll have a pretty good shot at him. So, saw a few heads pop up. 
like they had noticed us, but they seemed to be just kind of milling, most of them. Maybe we'll get around them. Just take it slow and work our way around. Five degrees out here, but I'm freaking burning up. So we've made it in line with the ridge. Now we just gotta drop off the backside and hike back up. But it's looking good. So I think all of them are still on the backside. Just right around this saddle here, not very far. Those elk on the ridge, my original plan of coming up the back side and popping over that saddle just isn't going to work. Those elk could spot us. That means I have to get on the same side of the ridge as the elk I'm stalking. And with the deep crunchy snow, that is not an ideal situation.
that didn't work out exactly the way I wanted it to, but got a shot. It was a longer shot than I wanted. Well, let's go see. Followed these tracks maybe, I don't know, a couple hundred yards and that was a clean miss. No sign of a hit at all. That sucks. That really sucks. If you hunt long enough, you'll know that feeling you get when you know you screwed up your chance after you've worked so hard for it. It's easy to beat yourself up, to dwell on what you could have done, what you should have done. But like most failures, it's best just to learn what you can and move on. So we've got a ridge in, in front of us here, and there's a little knob, and then just on the other side of that knob, there's elk scattered up and down the ridge. And I've been glass and I don't see any centuries up on top. So maybe uh, maybe we can get up there without them seeing us. But a lot of time when there's a big herd like that, they'll there'll be a cow posted up on a ridge and she just watches. I think we can make it. Maybe we won't screw this one up.
with the missed shot from earlier in the day fresh in my mind, I want to make dang sure that this elk is well within range. So we wait. in that rock and snow for probably an hour. I have borderline hypothermic. I'm gonna get some firewood and get a fire going before I freeze to death. One mile back to the truck. All right, so I'm on my own packing this elk out. Uh, I had Benji and Teague with me, but we spotted a group of elk over here, which Benji went after. There's another group over here, and Teague went after those, so my plan is to take the sled up here, put all the stuff in it, and just send it right down the draw. I might even hop on with it. I have to see how it goes. So, hardest part of this endeavor is gonna be dragging this sled up this mountain. made it a couple hundred yards and it must have hit a rock and fell over. 